when sun hits solar panel sometimes solar panel have battery and the battery store extra power so you can use it later if you don't have battery you can send extra power to power grid when it's dark you can take back the power that you send earlier so you really don't have to pay any money or certainly you save money real tweet from the u.s department of energy wind and solar energy infrastructure is essentially worthless when it is dark outside and the wind is not blowing we are being run by the most incompetent shamelessly moronic most idiotic people to ever grace the face of the United States. I love your passion and I certainly agree in some ways, but the science is not quite right. So let's talk about how this energy transfer actually works. Clean energy sources like solar and wind produce a ton of electricity during times when it's very sunny and windy, like you said. In solar panels, sunlight hits special cells made out of silicon, knocks electrons loose, and those moving electrons create electricity. For turbines, wind spins the blades, the blades turn a shaft, the shaft spins a generator with all the magnets and coils inside, and that spinning motion creates electricity through electromagnetic induction. But here's the thing, this energy has to be used the moment it's made, stored, like in batteries or by producing hydrogen, or the generating sources have to be turned off completely, which is called curtailment. What you can't do, unfortunately, is send it back to the grid and grab it when you need it again. See, the grid has to balance supply and demand constantly, every single second. It's not a pool of electricity that anyone can feed and anyone can grab from. You can't just have electricity hanging out in the wires all day waiting for you. The grid operates at a very precise frequency, 60 hertz in the US, and anytime the demand is different from the amount of power available, this will rise or fall, which can cause equipment malfunction or blackouts at either extreme. Now, batteries definitely can help with this. It's possible to store energy generated during the day and use it at night, but there is a scale issue. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's latest cost per Projections, utility skill storage cost about $334 per kilowatt hour in 2024. Their most optimistic projection drops to $147 per kilowatt hour by 2035 so 10 years. And to put that in perspective, just storing one day's worth of California's electricity demand would cost over a hundred billion to build and you'd have to replace those batteries every 17 years. In 2022, California couldn't use 2.4 billion kilowatt hours of solar and wind energy. But even if we built enough batteries to store all of that, we'd still face the tragic mismatch between when the sun shines and when people need power. This intermittence is why we still need what's called dispatchable power, sources that can run 24 seven regardless of the weather. The two cleanest options for this are hydroelectric and nuclear. Hydro uses water stored in reservoirs and it feeds it through these spinning turbines but this is totally dependent on sufficient rainfall and no rain means no water. Nuclear energy provides constant reliable power with zero emissions by using the heat from atoms splitting. So no energy sources are worthless, but it's also not as simple as 